Welcome back, welcome back. This is the Learning Curve of Music. Today, you know what I mean? I said I was going to upload no videos, but I finished. I went to the mall earlier today, and you know what I mean? And I was going through my YouTube, and I saw like a comment people saying that to extract focus is very difficult inside a Studio One. You know what I mean? Yes, it's very difficult with Studio One because sometimes the instrumentals you guys normally is download from YouTube. What I just do, I just get my youth, my tr original tracks from iTunes, you know. So most of the time when you get with iTunes, sometimes you get a you get a bundle with with like say a, a single. You, someone put a single to sell, and they put up the instrumental, the original, and the MP3. You know what I mean? So it's easy to match the the instrumentals and the um and the original song instead of Studio One. So people's been having a lot of problems like get rendering the file and the whole process. See, today I'm gonna show you a different, different way to extract a vocals. Instead of using Studio One, I'm gonna be using Reaper. You know what I mean? You can go and, uh, you can go and search your name on the internet, type in Reaper, and install it. Either install it to the two bit. If you are using a Mac version, you can install it right now. Seeing, all right. This this is the program here. Seeing, and then open up the program. I then lay down two tracks inside of the inside of the stuff. You know, seeing. First time when they load when they load the tracks up for the first time, you 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 drag one track to, to the timeline. You you can do anyhow instrumental first or original first or instrumental instrumental first or original at the second track. It don't make no difference with with this year, cause Reaper is very easy to use. People, you know what I mean? It's very very easy to use, and for you to like install it on your computer, it's very is is it's very low slow CPU. And a lot of people out there still using XP now, you know. And I think I believe Reaper still work with XP, you know. I can't really tell you. You know what I mean? Because I already really look. I just go on. Because I have a window 8 now, you know. So I just install it. When they say they give me the update now, you know. So when they go install the program, right now I do a new update. I ain't do it yet because, you know, a lot of time I don't really open up this program like that now, you know. So people say they want to learn a different step of extracting focus. So I want you guys to go to this site here called Flux. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave a, 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 a link in the, in the description. When you're on the site, and you click the link in the description, you'll come to this site here. Seeing, you don't want to pay for this plugin. I'm gonna teach you guys about. You, you scroll down to Stereo Tool, right? You see Freeware. You know we Tunis is we like free thing. You know what I mean? And I just and then after you see Freeware, click free. Click on it. Click free, and if you're using, you know what I mean, it, it's not gonna work with XP. See, so, so you know, you're not gonna work with XP. Yeah, you're not gonna work with XP. You know, it work with Windows Seven and up. This pro this program not gonna this plugin not gonna work with XP. Only only Windows Seven and up to the way up to ten. If you have 32 bit, if you have 64 bit, and if you have a Mac version, because I believe Mac work with um, Reaper too, so you guys can install it. Download it and install it, and then open up your Reaper program, drag the instrumental onto the timeline all the way across, drag the instrumental all the way across, and then after you click this program right here. You click this right to the side next to the magnet. You click this right here next to the magnet. That's to uncheck that. So you'll get able to drag. You get able to drag the file left and right. So you can line up the track now, you know. And then after you zoom out like this. You zoom out. You know to see the the track line up. You know what I mean? I teach all the guys about this already, you know. That's easy. Use if you have a mouse wheel. You can always dr 
drop, roll it out. This is what I like about Reaper. Reaper had the ability to do this, you know? All right, you drag the instrument on top, original track below, or we want to put the original on top, and the instrument on top. Anyway, you take it, slide and use the instrumental. See? What you got to do for the first time, when you click, when you click effects, click effects, click effects, and go to all plugins, all plugins, all plugins, don't go to nothing else, all plugins, and type in flux, F U F U F L U X. Like that. Flux on the instrumental. See? And the school long to look for the file you install. Stereo tool. See? And it looks just like that. What you gotta do now? What what you gotta do now? Let me listen to the track first before we go to the next scenario now, you know. I click on it, click it on. So you want to hear the track and the instrument are playing at the same time. So why wanna body say I play something in, in a re recording background? See, listen to the track. Me try with mankind and get turned, but me not right, we stop it right there because we know no copyright in freaking on the tune now, you know. You know what I mean? This track just came out. I just, I just downloaded it off of iTunes and I saw the instrumental. I say, hey, let me just come and show you guys how to like extract the vocals from the instrumental. Sometimes it's, it's all about patience, people. I always stress this out. This is patience. Lining up a track next to the instrumental is very patient like. You know what I mean? So you hear the instrumental playing. Let me listen to the. Let me listen to the let listen to the uh, let's press mute on the original. Listen to the instrument I play myself. <laughs> See the instrument I play myself. Now we go unmute it now. Now the only way to extract the vocal is when you're using this tool here, you have to go to this here. You slide this slider to the to the right and you slide the other slider to the right. And now you're gonna hear the vocal remove from the from the beat. You wanna listen to it now? Me try with mankind and get hurt, but me no cry. Become a no so them a leper. Ja is the start and the end. You know, no. Right, you know what I mean? So what you do now? Right after you get the, the a cappella out of the beat, right? You click you click file, the same file, you click the file and you go to render. Always remember you have to render. You render file name, you type the name, a cappella, the artist name, and then after you, you you can either use wave or you can use MP3. Most likely, you guys have to use Wave. You use Wave, right? You want to put it the directory. Let's say you want to save it to, to the to your C drive, browse to the folder you want to save the, the, the track to. Remember, you got to change the file name. The acapella. Start with acapella first. Just like that. Type out the name, put a dash, and, and then hit render file 1. See it? Hit render file one. You know what I mean? So let me, let me teach you a different step too. See? Let me show you a different step. You use the, the, the this here is the loop. Same thing like in Acid I teach you guys. Loop it all the way out. All the way out to the end. See? And then what you do now, you click file. Same thing like Acid now. It is the same, basically the same. I'm teaching you guys. This I do no remix. I just extract the vocal and hit, and then after you go to you go to a, a cappella. You know, I did a cappella octave on here. Seeing, I change my own to MP3. Seeing if you are MP3, and I set over. I doesn't do 320 because it's a cappella. 
I used to do 128. So the file could remain small on my computer now, you know. Then I used to save the file to Reaper Media. You know what I mean? So what I used to do now is click render. If you can't get MP3, do save it as wave. Seeing is the same program when you go in a mixing in acid. It's the same thing. Seeing, then after what I do, right? I go to entire project and change to timeline selection. It's the same, same thing I'm teaching you guys. You know I mean? Common sense, you know? And hit timeline selection and hit render. It's going to be a little loud for you. This going to be loud. Seeing, this going to be loud. This part is going to be loud. But don't worry about that. You can always tame the vocal inside of the mixing program you're going to use instead of acid. And that is how you, how you extract a vocals using Reaper. I hope you guys, you know what I mean, understand where I'm coming from. You know what I mean? Share, comment. Have a, have a, have a safe, happy new year to everybody out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. M remember, this, hit the thumbs like that, you know? Share it on all, share, share this video all over social media, that man. You know what I mean? I want more people come in and, you know, help build the thing, you know? The more people come in, it's more, 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 more stuff you guys can get there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man.